Runners set free from the 2400 metre. Twice Golden's out the back of the field early on. They're lining up for the lead. Papa sees right there. Cyber time with a good position. Space News is on the outside. Duke of Normandy, that's in the black. And then comes Coromandel, Sonia Dor, Sexy Shiraz is on the inside. Osceola, that's in the orange, about six or seven lengths off the leader. Hey Bull is on the outside of that. Then comes Color Master. Color Master's racing about eight or nine lengths off the leader. As they move towards the 1800 meter region. Then comes In the Summertime, Twice Golden. About to swing on to the back stretch, time takers just in front of that. And the leader now, Space News, going on by one length. Cyber Time is second, then Papa C, Duke of Normandy, that's in the black. Coromandel's on the outside, then Sexy Shiraz. They are followed by, on the outside of that, Sonia Dor, Osceola, and then Color Master. Hey Bull, the blue with the black cap. In the summertime, and then comes Time Taker, and Twice Golden Trails, about 12, 13 lengths off the leader. Space News continues to lead them as they move towards the 1,100-meter region. Papa C with the cheek pieces, the pink uh, sleeves of Cyber Time near the rail. Coromandel's further back and on the inside, Duke of Normandy. Then comes Sexy Shiraz, Sonia Dor. A length and a half further, Hey Bill and Arceola. Then in the summertime, Color Master, twice golden and time taker. About 12, 13 lengths off the leader. And Space News continues to lead it. Papa C is second, Cyber Time's third. Then Coromandel. Duke of Normandy's in the black, Sonia Dor, the white-haired girl of sexy Shiraz, Hey Bill Osceola, in the summertime, Color Master, twice golden and time taker. Top of the lane they come, about 500 to go, and Space News continues to lead it. Papa sees the first one to move in. Towards the inside, Cyber Time, Coromandel. Twice Golden has come right out. Yellow Sleeves and Cap, but has got many lengths to make up. And then Time Taker. Papa C continues to lead it past the 200. Cyber Time, and on the inside, Space News. Twice Golden and Sonia Dor trying to get into the race. But it's Papa C over the last 100, though. And Papa C's going to take some catching. It's Papa C going on. And Papa C will win it. The second Second position, Cyber Time, and third place, Sonia Dor, Coromandel fourth. Number 10, Papa C is the winner. This is Keegan Amello, Duncan Ells, the master of my fate, Saran Chetty for Berlin Stud. And number 10, Papa C wins it and wins it well at 470. The tote favourite ends up number 10, Papa C. So that was the tote favourite. Second, number three, Cyber Time. Third position was Sonia Dor, number 11. Then number two, Cora Mandel. Twice Golden had many lengths to make up. Finishes fifth. Then came Space News. And further back in the run was Hey Bull. And it was a well-stretched outfield. So Papa C was prominent and made a challenge as they turned for home. As Space News led them, twice Golden's on the extreme right-hand side. But Papa C comes home and wins well to record its second win from 11 outings. Eighth and last still to come. Back to the studio. Smart ride from Keegan DeMiller on Papa C. Duncan Howells, your trainer. Berlin Stud, your breeder. Saran Chetty, who is on course, the owner. And uh, yeah, Keegan DeMiller, the rider. Tabani is the man that looks after and loves and looks after Papa C. And uh, Papa C is recording his second career start, uh, second career victory today. And uh, Tabani gets a thousand rand from Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done, Tabani. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tabani. Muffa King in the parade ring and in the winner's box. Let's talk to Duncan then while we wait for Keegan. Um, well done. Whose advice, uh, the extra distance and the cheek pieces? Was it Keegan who, who rode this last time or was it a joint decision? I, I got to give full credit to Keegan. He rode him last time. He wouldn't go past the horse next him. Suggested going further and racing him a lot handier. And also the cheek pieces. I put the work into the horse and I said to Saran yesterday, I said, you know what? We don't win today. And I know I've preached this horse my whole life. We're never, ever going to win. So I'm very glad the horses got there. Thanks very much to Saran for his patience. And uh, to Keegan, thank you very much for the advice. What's the uh, 
your scenario with him because he's always, you've made it no secret that he's a good workhorse. He puts in the effort at home and comes to the races. Is he just maybe not brave or is he, is he just needed the confidence because he's got the talent? Look at him today, one eased up at the line. You know, I don't, I don't want to knock the handicappers, but he came out the maidens with quite a high merit rating, I felt, and I had to put him in against tough competition. And he ran third, his first start out the maidens. So a little bit of a hiding to, to run that third. And since that day, I had problems with the horse. He'd move up like he's going to win races or get into a scrum in a race and he wouldn't go through with his run. But uh, it's just nice to get him back in the winner's box and let's hope there's more to come. Well done, congratulations. Was that your last runner today? It's our last runner today. It's been a bit of a frustrating period. We've had a lot of places. The odds are well in themselves. Or the horses are well in themselves. And uh, if you listened to me, I would have told you this horse would have won today. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. These are the kind of horses, Keegan, that, uh, you know, you work them in the morning, not this particular horse, but in general, you know, you can work horses, they can work with four or five time winners, come to the race course, they can't run a place in a qualified maiden. That's the name of the game. And uh, as Duncan says, he's preached this horse every time and let him down. But today, with your advice, let nobody down. Yeah, look, um, I rode the horse last time. It was by a bit of luck, obviously, in that GTH meeting. And after the race, Mr. Owls was um, a bit annoyed. Awesome. A bit annoyed. He doesn't get cross and annoyed, does he? I'll, I'll use the word annoyed. <laughs> so he looked a bit annoyed and, uh, yeah, the horse gave me the feel that he wasn't trying. And uh, I said to him, uh, put him over a little bit of a trip and um, put cheek pieces on him. And I didn't think we would go this far, but um, <laughs> just well done to Mr. Dahls and his team. Uh, great training feat. Um, he's obviously changed a bit of things back at home and it seemed to work. Um, he was a much more genuine today. He quickened on top of the lane and he kept rolling. And... Yeah, just a nice win. It, it opens up a little bit of more, more doors for him. And well done to Mr. Chetty, obviously, for his patience. Yeah, absolutely, because annoying, these horses can annoy us and frustrate us, but uh, you've got to get to the bottom of them. He's clearly got some ability. We don't want to get overexcited, but he's a horse that maybe will give Mr. Chetty a win or two more and have some fun. Yeah, I definitely think so. I must be honest, I was probably a bit happy I didn't have to go work him. <laughs> See what Mr. Hull sees. But um, yeah, jokes aside, um, he, he won a really good race. Thank you very much to Mr. Hull's um, big supporter of mine. And we go back a long way. And I'm just really grateful to ride another winner for him. And yeah, to my sponsors, winning form. Thank you very much. Well done, Keegan. Nice to have Suran Chetty on course today. Now, congratulations. We've heard from Duncan that uh, he's been a little frustrating. But with patience and perseverance, uh, and advice from the jockey. He's uh, shown us what he can really do today. Yes, well, you know, thanks to Keegan. Uh, he gave us the right advice and, yeah, came through. Uh, Saran, uh, Papa C, is it named after you? Papa uh, Chetty, Papa C? Well, no, my grandkids actually call me Papa, so C is for Chetty. That's okay. how it came out. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, well done, and your patience has been rewarded, and thanks for your support of horse racing, and lovely to have you in the winner's box. Finally, we get a winner. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely. Congratulations, Saran. Saran Chetty, Papa. That's his name by his grandchildren. And Papa sees one at uh, the 11th time of asking. Amazing. It's uh, to hear all these stories behind the scenes when it's difficult and the horses uh, show uh, a amount of all the amount in the world at home and they come to the races and they want to uh, be naughty. Papa sees one and one well. There's one more to come here at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. See you just now. <laughs> Thank you.